With this, now I request you know, Professor uh, uh, Marjorie Anderson to make a presentation. She can perhaps you know, take another 30 minutes to make a presentation, and then we'll open it for discussion. Well, good morning. Uh, it's very nice to be here, and, and thank you for the invitation to uh, come along and join you. And thank you, Professor, for the introduction, and it's very nice to have met you and the Dean and your staff this morning. Um, I've uh, had the great pleasure of having Indian students in Australia, uh, and I must say that I've been very impressed with the quality of their motivation. Very keen to learn, very keen to understand the way of life, very keen to get ahead. And uh, in particular, there was one young couple who uh, were my master's students who um, from uh, Cochin, and uh, we're flying uh, down there tomorrow to see them as we've become quite friends, friendly with them and uh, had the pleasure of attending their wedding. But uh, the young man, his father's in manufacturing, has many employees, so quite a big business, and he came from that sort of background. While he was in uh, Canberra, he... Um, worked for KFC, which I'm sure you have KFC here, Kentucky Fried Chicken. So he went to get a part-time job to help with uh, cost of living while he was in Australia. And the uh, store he worked for thought so highly of him, the quality of his thinking, his dedication, his honesty, and the style of this very nice young man, that they gave him a car to drive. He didn't have to provide his own car. And then at the end of his studies, they offered him a job. They wanted him to stay and become a manager. Of course, he was well, already well channeled to be going back to uh, Cochin to move into his family business, uh, which was much, much bigger than this cave store in, uh, in Canberra. Um, so, of course, he, he declined the offer and, and returned home. And uh, then he and uh, his... Uh, the young woman that he met and, and they later married, uh, very well settled and in, in working in, in Kochi. So that was, um, and I had a number of students and very much enjoyed them because they were, um, they were motivated and they were keen to get ahead, keen to understand, keen to think outside the square, which is an important part of public relations practice. It's not just the understanding or solving a problem, it's, it's taking the time to analyse the situation and think whether or not this is the best way to solve the problem. You and I can be given a problem to solve. I may do it one way and it may be successful. You may do it a totally different way and also it may be very successful. So there are different ways of approaching communication challenges, but the main thing is for you to broaden your thinking and your analytical skills, which is what you're doing by studying, so that you understand and can think outside the square. And in doing that, you will be able to work with your employers, or if you become a consultant or working with government, working with the people that you are paying your salary or, or keeping you employed, in, in my case, a consultant, so it's our clients, but working with them to make sure that you are thoroughly briefed on the situation, that you can help them think, of future directions, that you work closely with them, and this is the, the challenge you have, you work closely with them to identify uh, the objective moving forward. What is the objective? Why are we going in this direction? And what do we want to achieve? So by doing that and working in close collaboration with the client or with your government department or your, the corporation, you have an agreed direction so this way, you're able to move forward and understand at the end of the project how successful you've been because you have the objectives which you should set, you should quantify your objectives so that you then have measurement. And that way, you're able to prove to your employer, the corporation, the government, etc., that you are, have been a good return on their investment in you as an employee. So the main thing is to think carefully through the direction you want to take, identify in consultation with those involved the objectives that are part of this and moving forward to goals and outcomes. But first, the simple thing is the objectives. Quantify them, understand what you have to achieve and the time frames, and that way you can say, this has been a successful project. I know that I have done these things successfully and reach the outcomes that we were looking for simply because you have realistic objectives that you have quantified and can move forward. The other very important part of this, of course, first, is to segment your target audience. 
uh, there was one particular government project that um, I'm aware of that they were doing um, a community uh, consultation on behalf of um, a, a corporation, but when they analysed the groups that they had to talk to, there were 12 different groups. So instead of say, here's one blob, one community corporate community group, there were 12 segmented groups. So therefore they had to identify, which you must do in public relations, identify the different groups that you are going to have to communicate with, inform, um, help them to understand, and enthuse them enough to take action. So you're moving through this process of working with the community, but you have to make sure that you're saying the right message to the right group so that they're moving along with you and you're helping to bring about change, whatever it may be, by working closely and making sure that when you're talking to one person here or this group here, this message and the channel you reach them may be totally different from the group over here who have this channel and this message you must use. So it's quite, um, quite strategic to be able to analyse the job you're doing and that's what makes you very successful as a professional, is to be able to think strategically of what is the problem, who is going to be affected, who should be responding to bring about the change. Many of you may want to go into not-for-profit organisations or charities and help there. And therefore, again, there'll be emotional <coughs> change you want to bring about. We work in all, in our consultancy, we have a, a general practice. So we can be working in all different industries with all different problems, but the process can be the same. Understand the situation to hear from you, <coughs> and how can they respond to you? Because uh, communication must be a two-way process. You must send information out and receive. So part of what we do, um, I know but if I give you a practical example, um, in Australia, as uh, Ron pointed out, there are a lot of controls that um, India is growing and growing fast. So some of the regulations, <coughs> process of growth that you have here this, I'm sure, will be the future for you, but uh, one uh, 